Hello and welcome to study with Sudhir, your digital classroom. I am T.S. Sudhir. A few days ago, we had put out a video on when the results of the Telangana Intermediate Board Examination could be announced. And we had said that if the national lockdown is lifted in the first week of May, uh, in Telangana, of course, it is still the 7th of May, they will need another 22 odd days for the evaluation process for the second year to be uh, finished. And thereafter, they will pick up the uh, answer sheets of the first year intermediate students. Andhra Pradesh is doing something very different. So Andhra Pradesh, for those who don't understand, this is the equivalent of the class 11 and 12 that we are talking about. So this is specifically for students who have given the Andhra Pradesh intermediate board examinations in the month of March. Andhra is actually preparing to undertake the evaluation process irrespective of which way the lockdown goes, whether it's extended on from the 3rd of May or whether it is lifted from the 4th of May. Now what is happening is that as I speak the coding process which is the preliminary activity undertaken prior to the evaluation that process has already begun okay so that's significant and this process normally takes about four to five days and they are expecting that they will finish off this work and be ready to undertake the evaluation process post the 3rd of May. The evaluation process obviously will be more tricky given the fact that the evaluators will have to be present in a hall and given the kind of curbs which are in place as to how many people can be assembled together in a room, the distance between each one of them, this is going to take some kind of work by the Intermediate Board of Andhra Pradesh. Now, how does the Board of Intermediate Education in Andhra Pradesh propose to kind of undertake, handle this entire process? Now, for one, it is proposing to shift the evaluation centers from the district headquarters, cities like Vijayawada, Karnul, Guntur, in fact, all of them hotspots, especially Guntur and Karnul, they will ship them to the green zones, which have not reported any case so far. Okay, so this is significant because there are at least two districts of Srikakulam and Vijayanagaram in North Coastal Andhra Pradesh that have not reported a single case of coronavirus so far. Plus, within the other 11 districts of Andhra Pradesh, there are several mandals, again, which have not reported any cases. So, the Andhra Pradesh government has been working out that there will be several mandals. In fact, out of the uh, 600 odd mandals in Andhra Pradesh, they say that only about 81 mandals are the ones which have reported severe cases so far. So, the remaining 500 odd are considered to be in the green zone. So, these evaluation centers will be in these green zones. Uh, but at the same time, social distancing norms will be implemented there. Also, any lecturer who has an international travel history is not going to be uh, part of this entire evaluation process. Now, what is happening right now is that the process of identifying the lecturers is taking place and letters will be sent to the district collectors so that they can issue them passes for them to travel to the evaluation centers without any problem without any hindrance so that is what is happening as far as andhra pradesh is concerned so one can expect that the results if this entire process goes through uh, irrespective of whether the lockdown is lifted or extended post the 3rd of may they are expecting that they would be able to announce the results at least of the second year intermediate students by the end of may which will be a big relief because all of them will need to apply for admission to various degree colleges so I thought specifically for Andhra Pradesh intermediate students because a number of them had written to me in the comment section asking what about Andhra. So I thought let me find out and get this information for you students. Thank you very much for watching.